Hello and welcome to Dr. Nora's clinic. Now, a question I often get asked is, Dr. Nora, how painful are cosmetic injectables? Well, to help answer that question, I'm gonna be injecting a real life patient. Yes, that is right. But not only that, we're gonna be monitoring his real time heart sounds using a handheld device to have a listen to how the heart reacts to stressful situations and how it also relaxes after the stressful situation has finished. So, model, how are you feeling today? <laughs> so, the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to clean up our model's areas that are going to be injected. We're going to mark on the safe spots that we need to inject our injections, and then we're going to get started, all the whilst listening to his heart rate as it slowly climbs up to its peak and then comes down again. So as our model is sitting here, we can hear his heart rate slowly starting to get a bit more anxious. So I'm going to pop some gloves on and let's get drawing on his face. So our model today is having his upper face injected with anti-wrinkle treatments. As you can see from the before pictures, he had some pretty good lines, didn't he? Mm -hmm. And that is right guys, boys can get anti-wrinkle injections too. Isn't that right? So the idea of cleaning up the face is to get rid of any bacteria, so it's a nice clean technique and so it minimizes the chance of infection. Lovely. Now that all of those areas are nice and clean, it's time to draw on his face. Now the reason why I like to draw on my patient's faces, well, it's not because I like being an artist, because I do, but it also allows me to find out where I'm injecting and making sure that I'm injecting in the right places in the right muscle groups, because let's face it, if you're injecting in the wrong place, you can end up with some pretty silly complications, such as eyebrow dropping or lid dropping, which is not what we want. I want you to look straight for me and raise your forehead up as much as you can. Perfect. Beautiful. And again, raise your eyebrows up. Fabulous. And relax for me. Wonderful. And now I want you to give me a big frown. Rrr, angry. How's his heart rate doing? Lovely. And a big smiley face. So now that he's all marked up, it's time to clean the area again before we inject, and then it's time to get injecting. So how's your anxiety levels going? <laughs> Through the roof. At this point in time, our model's sympathetic nervous system has kicked into place where his body is getting ready to fight or flight which he may well do, but essentially that's the release of adrenaline, cortisol, your stress levels are going up and it allows for the heart to contract harder, contract faster, enabling you to run away or to deal with the situation and fight back. Well, let's hope that he doesn't fight me today. <laughs> <laughs> so to be extra kind to my lovely model, I'm going to be using these ultra fine needles, which are tiny and they're supposed to be a lot more comfortable than your standard needles. Okay, so we're going to do a series of small injections now. I'm going to wipe away all of those white dots before I inject it because I don't want you to end up with some white tattoos unless that's what you like. No. <laughs> okay, just pop your head down a little bit for me. Thank you so much. Okay, and uh, you know what? I've just remembered there's one little thing that I'm going to give you because I want you to try and relax as much as you can, and that is my squeegee man. <laughs> so when you feel like you want to fight, just squid on that man for me. Alrighty. Put your head down for me. Thank you. Okay, series of small scratches coming up. Sharp scratches.
almost there with your forehead. Let's check in with this heart and see how it's pumping. You'll notice that our model has developed some small inflammatory areas from where those incisions have been or those injections have been. That is quite normal and that will go down after about 15 to 20 minutes. Okay, just a couple more for the forehead. Head down for me a little bit, thank you. And off we go again. Lovely. All right, now it's time to get on with your frown. So I want you to give me a big frown for me, angry face, that's it, well done. And relaxing for me, sharp scratch now. Perfect, lovely. Again, a big frown for me and relaxing. Well done. And just looking towards the wall for me. Thank you very much. And give me a big frown. That's it. And relaxing. and looking that way for me, thank you very much. And again, a big frown for me and relaxing. Great, and I'm just gonna do one more spot just on your forehead and raise your eyebrows up for me and relax. Okay, now that we are about 80% way through, now that we're 80% the way through the procedure, let's see how the heart is getting. Is it getting pumped up? It's looking still pretty, pretty fast to me, actually, I have to say. <laughs> that those cortisol levels, the adrenaline is still kicking in. Our model is almost at the finish line. I cannot wait to see what happens to his heart rate as it starts to relax down and it knows that there's no more injections. So we do a quick tidy up and then we'll go and do our smiley eyes or our crow's feet. Okay. okay, and just looking this way for me, thank you very much. And can you give me a big smile? That's it, lovely. Uh, relaxing for me, thank you very much. Well done, and a big smile again, and relaxing. And a big smile, and relax for me. Up. 
Now you'll notice that I've got my last needle, so my last syringe, so the finish line is near. <laughs> Looking the other way for me, thank you. And just turn a little bit towards this way, that's wonderful. Okay. And a big smile for me, Ash, thank you. And relaxing. Beautiful. And again, big smile. smile, relax, last but not least, a big smile and relax, perfect, so there we have it, our injections are complete, I'm just going to tidy up a little bit. Now, Ash, it is really important that you don't rub or touch the areas because it will stop the product migrating to muscle that we don't want it to go to. It's really important also to keep your head upright for the next four hours. So again, that product doesn't go down the face, affecting those muscles that, again, we don't want it to affect, for example, causing an eyebrow drop or an eyelid drop. And of course, don't use any makeup, <laughs> no foundation, no creams or lotions until the next day. Not a lot of exercise tonight and not much alcohol either for the next day and then tomorrow everything resumes as normal and our model can expect to see some nice changes for the next three to five days optimal results at two weeks and effects lasting around three to five months so you did remarkably well well done these small little inflammation marks will go down over the next sort of 20 minutes or so i can see my squeegee man is still intact he's still in one piece and the heart rate we can have a listen to now and see how it's going to settle down now at this point in time when our model is nice and relaxed now something called the parasympathetic nervous system kicks in which is your rest and digest nervous system which just allows the body to relax allows the heart to reduce its contractions reduce the amount of pumping it does and of course reduce the heart rate And now we should be able to hear our model's heart rate relax down as he's starting to unwind and forget the trauma of the needles. Let's take a listen. Feel of your pulse rate and so I can feel our beautiful model's heart rate starting to go down and it's about 50 to 60 beats per minute so you have survived your heart has relaxed your respiratory rate has also settled down as well and you've made it through your cosmetic injectable journey very well done and thank you so much for being a brave participant in front of the audience for your injectables and having listened to your heart at the same time thank you so much <laughs> congratulations As always, if you have any comments or suggestions, please don't hesitate to drop me a line in the comment section below. And if you yourself are considering cosmetic injectables, please seek a second opinion from an adequately qualified health professional. Take care and stay healthy. Where's my needle? I need a needle. <laughs>